Hello and welcome to Wonder of Learning Channel. In this lesson, we will be learning phonemic awareness, phonics, handwriting, high frequency words, and oral vocabulary words for Wonder's Kindergarten Unit 5, Week 2. Phonemic awareness. We will use I say, you say, we say practice for each part for Wonder's Kindergarten Unit 5, Week 2. Count and blend syllables. I will say two syllables. You will say the syllables back to me. Then we will say the two syllables together. Then we will say the word and how many syllables it has. Example, I say robot. You say robot. We say robot. What word? Robot. How many syllables? Two. I say spider. You say. We say spider. Spider. How many syllables? Two. I say hammer. You say. We say hammer. Hammer. How many syllables? Two. I say pretzel. You say. We say pretzel. Pretzel. How many syllables? Two. I say football. You say. We say football. Football. How many syllables? Two. I say pencil. You say. We say pencil. Pencil. How many syllables? Two. Phoneme isolation. I will say a word. You will repeat the word back to me. Then we will say the word together. Then we will isolate the beginning initial sound. Example, I say mop. You say mop. We say mop. What sound? Mmm. I say mile. You say. We say mile. What sound? Mm. I say ant. You say. We say ant. What sound? Ah. I say part. You say. We say part. What sound? P. I say ice. You say. We say ice. What sound? I. I say keep. You say, we say keep. What sound? K. I say tree. You say, we say tree. What sound? T. Phoneme blending. I will say the phonemes in a word. You will repeat the phonemes back to me. Then we will say the phoneme together and blend the phonemes and say the word together. Example, I say er, ah, mm. You say er, ah, mm. We say er, ah, mm. What word? Ran. I say b, ad, d. You say. We say b, ad, d. What word? Bad. I say w, it. You say. We say w it. What word? Wet. I say er ock. You say. We say er ock. What word? Rock. I say y s. You say. We say y s. What word? Yes. I say w ig. You say. We say w-ig. What word? Wig. I say u-ip. You say. We say u-ip. What word? Lip. Phoneme categorization. I will say three words. You will say the three words back to me. 
We will say the three words together. Then we will say which word does not have the same initial beginning sound. Example, I say daisy dog monkey. You say daisy dog monkey. We say daisy dog monkey. Which word out? Monkey. I say cake cap run. You say. We say cake cap run. Which word out? Run. I say mop make toe. You say. We say mop make toe. Which word out? Toe. I say way walk smile. You say. We say way walk smile. Which word out? Smile. I say bag barge funny. You say. We say bag barge funny. Which word out? Funny. I say tree table pan. You say. We say tree table pan. Which word out? Pan. Phoneme segmentation. I will say a word. You will repeat the word back to me. Then we will say the word together. Then we will segment the sounds. Example, I say set. You say set. We say set. What's the sounds? S-et. I say kick. You say. We say kick. What's the sounds? k it. I say mug. You say. We say mug. What's the sound? M, uh, g. I say cap. You say. We say cap. What's the sounds? K, ap. I say ride. You say. We say ride. What's the sounds? R, I, d. I say. Bone, you say. We say bone. What's the sounds? B O N. Phonics. This week our phonics letter is short E. Short E says E. Eh. What sound? E. Eh. What sound did you hear? Short E says E. Eh. Yes, the correct sound is E. Eh. Let's look at words that have the short E sound, eh. Bell. We sound it out as b, eh, o, bell. Short E says eh. Beg. We sound it out as b, egg, beg. Short E says eh. Scent. We sound it out as s, e, n, t, scent. Short E says eh. Check. We sound it out as ch, eh, k, check. Short E says eh. Egg. We sound it out as eh, g, egg. Short E says eh. Elk. We sound it out as eh, o, k, elk. Short E says eh. Jim. We sound it out as j, i, m, jim. Short e says e. Hen. We sound it out as e, m, hen. Short e says e. Jelly. We sound it out as j, e, o, e, jelly. Short e says e. Leg. We sound it out as o, e, g, leg. Short e says e. Handwriting practice. This week we will be practicing writing the letter e. Let's first look at how to write an uppercase e. Look at the diagram shown. Follow the steps to write an uppercase e. Now let's look at how to write a lowercase e. Look at the diagram shown and follow the steps to write a lowercase e. 
These are examples of uppercase E's written. Now you practice writing uppercase E's. These are examples of lowercase e's written. Now you practice writing lowercase e's. Now we will look at this week's high frequency words. What are high frequency words? They are the most common words that readers see and identify when reading. This week's high frequency word is R. We will look at using this week's high frequency word in context through high frequency word sentence builders. Get ready to read each line with me. R. Are you? Are you going? Are you going to? Are you going to the? Are you going to the circus? Are you going to the circus today? Our complete sentence is, are you going to the circus today? Notice this sentence starts with a capital letter and it ends with a question mark. We use a question mark because the questioning word is are. This sentence is a complete sentence because it has a complete thought that makes sense. Lastly, we will look at the oral vocabulary words that you will hear in this week's reading story. The first word is amazing. Amazing means causing great surprise or wonder. The second word is develop. Develop means when you develop something, you are taking what it is now to make it better or more complete. The third word is content. Content means when you are content, you are happy with what you have. The fourth word is enormous. Enormous means when something is enormous, it is very large in size or amount. The fifth word is imagine. Imagine means when you imagine something, you make an idea or picture of it in your mind. We are finished with the lesson for today. We will visit the lesson again tomorrow. Great job on all your hard work today. Thank you for learning with us today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. We hope you'll join us again soon for another lesson on Wonder of Learning. Until then, bye-bye.